Big news from Minstrels. Now you get 20% extra free. Minstrels, the milk chocolate melts in your mouth, not in your hand. Hi, right, Willie. <laughs> I just bought this Alston pills. Most of the sugar turns to alcohol, you know. It's a remarkable process. Uh, I'll see you later, Dink. Where you going, Wally? Where do you think I'm going? Please, uh, this one, Wally. No. Here's an opener. <laughs> Farman charged me a quid for that. He's a bigger cowboy than you are. <laughs> Shut up. Holston Pills, the original pills. A small dog deserves love, a good home, and the food specially prepared for him to enjoy. Mr. Dog. Mr. Dog is 100% meat in delicious jelly with the meats he really loves, like juicy beef and tender chicken. Mr. Dog, specially prepared for a small dog to enjoy. Keeping people in touch in remote communities with special equipment for the blind. Extension two, one, nine, extension two, one, nine, ringing. It's ringing for you. And emergency services that are the envy of the world. These are some of the ways British Telecom is helping people every day. In a push-button world, British Telecom is the power behind the button. When these men invest, they don't mess about. We, we don't, don't mess about. about. They go for a fixed interest investment that's guaranteed for five years. Fixed interest. Guaranteed. That's guaranteed and tax-free. Free. National Savings Certificates now guarantee 41.9% after five years tax-free. The new 27th issue, it's out now. New headline shampoo. It's bad news for dandruff, but good news for your hair. Here's why. Headlines has a light stripe that clears dandruff as effectively as the leading dandruff shampoo. The dark stripe in Headlines is a gel conditioner that conditions your hair better than any other dandruff shampoo you can buy. So use Headlines regularly. New Headlines shampoo clears dandruff, conditions hair better. That stuff had better be in Lille tomorrow, day after at the latest, or I'm in breach of contract. Look, I'm flying Dakotas, not magic carpets. I've one held up in Rome, another's in dock with a Duff engine. I'll get another engine. And I'm tied up the next three days. I have another pilot. No, that's impossible. I'm always late, lad. Just flogged a hundred jeeps, sight unseen even by me, like jelly babies to the infant school. For you to sign. Who's the bloke over there who thinks he's you? Ah, Smiler Ronson. You want to watch him? That's what I've been doing. War profiteer calls himself an air freight broker. <laughs> Cheeky young devil. Hey, now just you have a squint at that contract. There's a good lad. Wasting our time here, Mac. Well, if I've got to work for nothing, I'd rather my sister in law had the benefit. At least she feeds me. <laughs> I found an ailer on in number three hanger. It may have come off Abel Victor. Do you want to take a look at it? Ah, uh, sure. There's not a propeller as well, I suppose. Doubt it. I'm afraid he's not here. When will he be back? Well, he's gone into town. He should be back this afternoon. I see. Well, tell him I called, would you? Reardon, Air Registration Board. He's the man in this business we keep in the right side of. 30 quid of flying, I'll not a penny more. 30? 30. 32 tens. That it. And waiting time. What waiting time? That unload you in no time. It's only bales of cloth. 
Nothing to break. Uh, Stan. Plenty to tear, though. I'll tell you what. Fly on to Beer Ritz. Pick up some fruit and cheese for me. I'll pay you flying hours, Leal and Beer Ritz and back, and you'd best be doing 120 miles per hour minimum and no waiting time. Fruit will need careful loading. Oh. It'll be crated. You're not in a seller's market, mate. Snap my fingers now. I could have ten bandits come running. You're on. And, uh, what's this with Cade, huh? If he's trying to get you to sign a contract, I should plead broken fingers. When you've got rid of him and me of Tommy, we'll discuss. Uh, right? Yeah. Uh, Tommy, you can forget that. It's all a bad name talking to him. Now read your contract, right? My eyes are tired. I get my solicitor to look at it. Ah, oh, you've got one of those as well. Well, only when I'm dealing with sharp operators. Not people like you. Mike! Mike, we're in! We're on! We're in business! Where's Peter? Peter! Stop Friday! Peter! Well, that's Friday. You must have been good Friday. End of this week. Not quite. Leo Berrits, cloth over, fruit and veg back delivery on Monday. Peter, we got a job. Start Friday. Oh, uh, not in this kind, you haven't. Jack, we're short of one propeller. We haven't got the control surfaces in position yet. There's a day's work to do in the rigging before we can even start trimming her out. And none of those gauges have been checked. We can do it. By Friday. It's a lot of money. Wages. Come on, are you with me or against me? Oh, we're against you, Jack. I mean, we're only here to spoil your chances, wreck your fun. Oh, we're only here to get in your way. You're a bad boy, Tiny. You're mad. Yeah, we got it! 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 See what you plan to do with her, that's all. Rather a lot, by the looks of it. Yes. Well, let's get on with it. I won't ask you for your maintenance schedule, Ruskin, yet. But you will require a certificate of her worthiness, signed by me. I shall also want to attend your test flight. When do you have in mind, Mr. Ruskin? A Friday morning. Indeed. I shall await that with great interest. Makes three of us. Early. Very. Good. I'll be there. I shall also want to know details of your operating base, your engineering facilities there, and your type of operation. Well, oh, gentlemen, I mustn't hold up the good work. Very early. Friday morning, then. Good afternoon. I'm off. Do you want a lift? We're going to do it, Peter. I'm not hanging about. I'm not waiting for anyone or anything. At the moment, you're waiting for a rudder and a propeller. 